payoff. Royford here trying to learn something. So what we have here is the Rosser 3.5 and this is the newest iteration. 03 they call this. Uh, there are several changes that are worth mentioning. Um, the deck is thinner. The camera now has standoffs. The bracing, of course, was his traditional angled bracing, which uh, he had on all, all the earliest models. And as he's moved on, he's moved away from reaching all the way out to the motor corner and gone to halfway up the arm. And that seems to be true across the board for all the newest models. Um, additionally, uh, he seems to have removed all straight edges. Uh, he no longer on any of his models uh, is showing straight lines except on the arms. All the all the decks seem to have some curvature to them. It seems to be the going the going design. I'm guessing it's something about uh, straight lines. Uh, help to amplify uh, resonance and curved lines deaden them. So that I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, I have yet to fill this with parts and try it, um, but it's there's a, another change that's pretty significant. In the old one, there were no mounting holes in the middle. Um, you had to move your your stack either to the forward or to the back and vice versa with your VTX. So the new one seems to have mounting all the way through. You can't see it because I've covered it up and, and you can't see it from below because of this plate. So you'll just have to trust me that there are mounting holes in there for various sizes in the middle. Um, and uh, and also, he has removed one of the mounting holes from the feet, from the uh, motor mount. So, all in all, I think he's removed some of the weight from the body, um, but increased the rigidity com as uh, compensatory. So, um, it didn't need as much bulk. Um, I think it's going to fly really flitty. It's, uh, I, I'm not that kind of a pilot. Um, and this one was already really just wanted to go. Um, I feel that this one's going to be, uh, quite a, a, a flippy floppy if, uh, if given the chance. Um, okay. The next step will be to, uh, to rebuild this one. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to look through my parts to see if I want to start from scratch and build this one from scratch or uh, hawk all of the all of the parts out of this one. Um, this is gold. It's supposed to be gold. Um, it comes across as more <sighs> drying out moss. It's golden. Interestingly, the arms are a different carbon. The carbon on these is just a surface. It's not that they're, it's not solid color. So it's just the surface. Uh, but you can see the weave on the, on the plates is much tighter than the weave on the arms. The arms was a different uh, stock altogether. Um, not as high quality, uh, but not poor, 
just not as tight weave as the as the other parts. And I suppose I appreciate that if I have to compromise uh, color for strength. Um, I mean, I'm getting the color because I want the color, but it would be cool if the whole aircraft was this color. I don't think it's acquiring its rigidity from the surface. So, you know, I don't know. I would like to see this in this plate. Oh, well. Say la vie.